Posse rep, this is for you, man. Uh, this is what I started off with. It's a 10 gallon aquarium. You can see where I did the water line here. Um, basically, the idea is uh, there's a thermometer. You get fish, fish uh, aquarium heaters, okay? I bought two nice ones that can get the water real hot. Um, Cause your goal is to get the water hot enough that you can set something in in the water uh, with vermiculite in it, um, such as a container, something like this, which isn't what I use, but I use the. But you can get this a little container, you know, Rubbermaid container, and essentially you set this in the water like so, and then the vermiculite that I told you about. Remember the vermiculite. Um, put the vermiculite here in into the container, you know, put this vermiculite in the container and then you put your eggs in there like you see in my aquarium now or in my incubator. Um, the only thing I have with this man is it didn't work that great. It did work. Um, I mean, I do have a lot of eggs, eggs that are still alive today because of this uh, incubator that I built here. But um, I would not build it this way. And if you look online, this is what you know people tell you to do use an aquarium. Um, I wouldn't do that, man. Looking back on it, I would probably buy a plastic thing like this. You know, something big plastic with a lid on it. Um, something like that. Or actually, what I was thinking of doing was buying a styrofoam uh, cooler. A styrofoam cooler. A big styrofoam cooler. Bigger than this, dude. A big styrofoam cooler and you get a big styrofoam cooler and you put the water in there same scenario you put the water in the styrofoam cooler put the heaters in the water in the styrofoam cooler you're gonna need to buy probably two digital thermometers for this um, you're gonna need one digital thermometer to go in this in the styrofoam control cooler just for the ambient air temperature you need one also, that's going to probe down into your vermiculite to give you the temperature of the vermiculite that the eggs are sitting in. So what I was thinking is, is you build one of these with a styrofoam cooler and put two of your uh, fish aquarium heaters in there in the styrofoam cooler. Uh, get a, a, a temperature gauge for your water also. So you're going to need uh, probably three thermometers total, one for your water temp. To find out how hot the water temp is, one for the ambient air inside of the cooler because I want you to use the cooler so you can have a lid so the entire thing, uh, the, the, the temperature in the whole area is that one temperature. So where I think this goes wrong is having this open, the temperature gets out and uh, it doesn't work as good as, as a real incubator. Uh, again, so you got a styrofoam cooler. Imagine that as a styrofoam cooler. You got your water in there. You got your heater and your heater. You got your thermometer here and your styrofoam cooler. Now, this is in a 10 gallon aquarium. And then you put your water in there and then you put your uh, little bucket, uh, like this. Put your little bucket like that. Put the vermiculite right here. Put that in, in the bucket like this right here, you know. Put your eggs in there and then put that in the water, in the water there. Um, put that in there uh, with your eggs, put the lid over it. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and build this and get this up to temperature before she lays her next eggs too, man. Uh, that's where you went wrong, putting them under a light. Definitely cooked them. Bad idea. You should have just left them in the sand and hope nature did it. Uh, but this may work, man. It's the best I can do. Or you can go online and just pay the shipping and handling to Australia. You know, uh, it can't be $300, but uh, whatever. But I'll send you a website link for that, too. I uh, hope that helps.